Welcome aboard ladies and gentlemen. Today we fly with the fascinating Amur Falcon. Named after the world's 10th longest river, this bird of prey breeds along the Amur River Valley bordering Russia and China. Each year, when the climate begins to cool, flocks of Amur leave their home to fly over India and then cross the vast Arabian Sea to winter in southern Africa. Their amazing trans-equatorial migratory path of over 22,000 kilometers and about two months is naturally tiring and requires a few energy refueling spots. And this year, there has been a surprise touchdown visit by a flock of Amur falcons at the Tata Valvan Dam situated in Lonavla, a quaint hill station in the state of Maharashtra that lies in mainland India edging the Arabian Sea. And here is where we are headed to watch these beautiful birds hang around the Indrayani River's rolling mudflats speckled with pretty violet Indian pogosthamon flowers in full bloom. Now there's a handsome grey male feeding on a kill among the grass. The adult Amur falcon is hardly a foot tall and weighs just as much as a banana. But do not be fooled by its small size, for this resilient bird is known to traverse the earth on the longest flight path ever taken repeatedly by any raptor. Yes, Amur falcons can fly non-stop over open waters for more than two days. It is believed they achieved this phenomenal feat because of the autonomous functioning of their brains, similar to the dolphins, which allows for one half of their brain to alternately stay awake and alert while the other half sleeps. And what do they do when they are hungry over the sea? They just make a snack of their travelling companions, the dragonflies, who are also ocean-crossing migrants. Now this flecked Lady Amur perched there on a basaltic rock, nestled among the hillside flora, will certainly agree then that for the Amur falcons, it's all just a case of mind over matter. The state of Nagaland in northeastern India is also a common stopover point for this migrant, where it would be often hunted and captured by the locals. Thankfully now, with more education and awareness between the Chinese and Indian governments, the Nagas now welcome the Amur flocks as friends and provide them with a safe haven where they may rest and rebuild their fat reserves for the remainder of the arduous journey ahead. On the return path, they similarly make a long stopover at Somalia on Africa's east coast and then piggyback on the tails of the monsoon winds, again flying 60 hours non-stop to halt in India before continuing their travel back home. In 2019, two Amours named Irang and Shulan were GPS tagged and this year 2020 achieved a milestone when they landed in Nagaland's neighbouring sister state of Manipur on their return migration. It was recorded the Superbirds had covered a spectacular 29,000 km circle on their flight path. So ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. It's time to take off once again with our celebrity raptor, the Amur Falcon.